morning YouTube. I uh, just feeling a little inspired again today. Um, so I'm gonna make another quick one. I'm kind of trying to make a little series on just things I've learned. You know, having a barber shop, being in the barber industry, how to be successful, how to have a balance between your work and your personal life because this is a job where you could literally work a thousand or a hundred hours a week and there would still be people pounding your door down asking for haircuts so you have to prioritize so real quick um scarcity marketing is a thing so scarcity marketing is when people can't have something they want it everybody wants it they can't have so as a barber that actually works in your favor because uh, when I first started cutting hair, I had lots of people that wouldn't show up for my appointments because they didn't value my time. But then once I got better and I started getting a loyal following, people would look on my calendar and realize you have to book a week in advance to get in my chair, which there's a lot of barbers that are booked out even further. But for me, that's, that's far enough. I'm happy with that. But being booked out a week in advance, no one's going to wait a week for a haircut with you if they don't like what you do. So it's a, what I mean by this is what I'm getting to is it's okay to limit your schedule and limit the time that you're in the shop because you create a demand. And what's interesting about this is the more of a demand that you create for yourself, um, the more you're going to get a rated customers in your chair. When I say that, I mean people that like you, that like what you're doing, that are going to drop a $20 tip on you or more. <laughs> I know people might see this and say, oh, I get $50 tips, whatever. That's fine. But I'm just talking about general purpose barbering. I'm not an all-star barber. I'm not a platform barber. I'm a normal barber, you know. So, um, and I'm going to kind of segue into, you know, limiting your hours. So one thing I mentioned in my last video was that, um, I'm leaving early on Thursdays and I'm going to kind of explain to you one thing that's I'm benefiting from with that is I make money every time I sell a product or when I sell a hoodie or a t-shirt or a hat, right? These are marketing things that I do, you know, I got hats, I got products. Well, look, I only have one clay left. I sell those one or two a week. Now I don't make a ton of money on them, but you know, that's 10 bucks or whatever. But if I don't have those in stock, I can't sell them. So Thursday, when I leave early, I take care of all of my orders. I'm going to a local guy here Thursday, and I'm going to get new gift cards made up because it's the holiday season. So instead of me trying to do this at home on my personal time, I'm going to leave the shop on Thursdays, and I'm going to take care of shop stuff. Like I said in my last video, even making playlists, I consider that work um, because it benefits the shop. So um, basically, uh, I didn't want to make this too long. That's just a couple of things. I'm going to keep trying to put out some information out there that helped me, that it took me a long time to realize. And I'll keep putting videos out every, every couple of days. And I hope these help you grow as a barber. And I hope you have a great day.